Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Knife review. Now we all enjoy a good knife review. So this is the Vargo Titanium Clip Knife. I've also heard it called the Worn Clip Knife. So, sexy beast. Knife itself. I'd call it a chisel grind. In titanium, supposedly Japanese titanium, it's supposed to be one and a half times stronger. So, five and three eighths inches over long, or 14 centimeters for the rest of us guys. Two and five eighths inch blade, or 6.8 centimeters for the rest of us guys. It's a simple little tool, it's pretty slim. Knife itself, 20 grams, sheath another eight, so 28 grams, so one ounce. <coughs> What's it good for? If you're a ultralight backpacker or a hiker that's not doing bushcraft and you just want to cut cheese, cut salami, this thing can make a feather stick. I've tried it, it does do it. Its edge retention seems reasonable. Now, I didn't buy it new, I picked it up at a flea market for a couple of dollars. Now, whoever ground it, wasn't the wasn't the straightest of jobs, but it's effective. So it has this little clip on it for attaching it to stuff. According to the website, this is Kydex. So it seems to be very flexible for Kydex for me. So it slips in there, snaps closed. Now, if you're suffering from man paws like myself, there's not an awful lot of handle on it, really. But you can creep up on the blade and you can do some serious work with this knife. I've, I've used it, I've tried it. And <clears throat> there's one thing about it is if you're say in a hut in New Zealand or Tasmania you can pull this out and chop away without being very threatening. But <clears throat> I looked at the, on the website and five cents short of sixty dollars is the recommended retail for this which is an awful lot. Now you can clip the handle on it to give it a bit more. So. But how does it stack up? For for that type of money, I would suggest not that well if you're buying this for retail. So I'll show you some of my other little pocket knives of a similar sort of size. Now, as a reference point, my loadout for bushcraft is a fair bit more substantial. I have this Chris Reeve Professional Soldier Knife. Now that, the blade itself weighs 90 grams, so three of those. And the sheath is another 110, but I've got the sheath loaded up you know, with the mini Bic ferro rod eating spoon. So usually I'll have something, a fixed blade of something of this dimension, and a pocket knife. Now this is a Victorian Ox farmer with a wood saw. So if I was really paring things down and not intending to do bushcraft, basically I can get away with this. So 88 grams. Now so that gives me a wood saw and a main blade. Now, I prefer the uh, the Aloxes, if you compare that to a regular Swiss Army knife, which is this compact at 64 grams, there's a lot more blade. So when it comes to camp tasks like spreading your, your, your peanut butter on toast or whatever, that's better again, just because of the size of the blade. Now a friend of mine carries one of these at 20 grams, because all she wants is a knife so she can cut open the packet, you know, cut up uh, plasters and stuff for uh, blisters and she's happy with that because she knows that she can always borrow mine. So, <clears throat> comparing the Vargo to a, a number six Opinel, now if it came to a hard push I would take the Opinel over the Vargo, I really would. Locking blade, Proven itself for eons here. Yeah. And if you step it up, 
It's a, a Victorinox compact, 64 grams. Yeah, can opener, cap lifter, set of scissors. Quite quite a good backpacking tool, really. A little bit more weight. Let's say 52 grams. This is just a, a single bladed uh, Victorinox. It's one of the 108 millimeter Safari series. Great camp knife. Simple enough. So really, for the money, you're not saving that much weight. It is pretty sexy. I mean, I paid a full, I think it was $8 for it. And I'm happy to have it, yeah, at $8. I don't know if I'm going to splash out 60 But anyway, guys, yeah, food for thought too. If you like the content I create, feel free to subscribe. It helps me out greatly. We'll see you next time.